It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a can of their Hazy Jane New England IPA coming in at 7.2% ABV. There's a look at the 330 can. Looks very nice. I like it. Typical Brewdog. Slightly different colour to it. Turquoise blue, I would say. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, I'd like to thank my good friend Richard from the Pilot Brewery. Thank you very much, Richard. Richard went to a brewery opening down in Newport, Tiny Rebels New Brewery. Uh, they had a press event. He then went to Brewdog Cardiff on his way home, had a few beers, and he put this behind for me. So when I went in here today, they said, hey, you got a beer behind from Richard. So boom, thank you, Richard. Check out the Pilot Brewery in the Mumbles, Wales. Wonderful little place. Beer in the glass. First of all, what am I seeing? I'm seeing that it is indeed in terms of looks, it looks wonderful. It looks absolutely fantastic. That is exactly what I want from a New England style IPA. It, it just looks like hop soup. And it's a mixture of oats and a ton of hops that makes this beer hazy. One to two finger white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It looks, it almost looks like for me, a pineapple yogurt or a grapefruit yogurt or some kind of strange looking smoothie. And that's what you want. That's what, that's what these typical New England IPAs look like. Now, just very quickly on this, I understand this style, the origins of this style go all the way back to the alchemist Heady Topper. That's where it kind of originated from. And then it went over to kind of Treehouse Brewing Company in America. And we've had some fantastic stuff from, is it Maine Beer? They've been producing some really good stuff. Other Half, have been producing some of these amazing New England IPAs. Then we've had the likes of, oh, what are they called now? That Swedish brewery. Oh, hold on. Stig Baguettes, Stig Baguettes. And then it's, it's, it's made its way to Brewdog. Brewdog have done it. And I questioned just the other day on my, my I call it the, the, the stone fruit IPA, we'll call it the stone fruit, like the pump action something or other IPA. Question whether Brewdog could produce a hazy IPA. I've also, not just Brewdog, but I've, I've questioned whether stone can do a, a hazy IPA. And it turns out within a day of me asking that they they both more or less bring out these New England IPAs. So brilliant look to the beer. Fantastic look. Looks fantastic for a New England IPA. I've got to be honest. They really nailed the look. Aroma. And it's making me smile. It's making me smile. It's my natural reaction. When I really like a beer, I smile. Smile in the glass. Look at that slightly brew doggy aroma. And I want to put my finger on that over the next few months. I want to find out what makes a brew dog beer smell like a brew dog beer. Because for me, you can smell a brew dog beer. If I did a blind taste test, I could really pick out brew dog beer from any other beer. It's just, and I've always found it difficult to, to work out why that is. But other than that, other than that typical brew dog aroma, it smells good. Grapefruit and stone fruits and mango and juicy grapefruity mango lemon. It smells fantastic, it really does. 
7.2% ABV. It is 7.2%, isn't it? Yeah. Hazy Jane by Brewdog. Cheers. Love them, they're trying. Oh. I wanna, I, I don't wanna say too much, I wanna try it again. It's oh, I don't think I've ever been so quiet in a beer review before. Okay, it's really juicy. It's really refreshing. It's quite 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 tropical it's mangoey and citrusy and grapefruity and it's nice it's really really nice it's not quite a stone the crows beer not quite they really i can tell they really 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 tried to 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 to, to get on top of this and really go all out and get people to rave about it. They really have, I can tell. I can tell by the look. I can tell by the aroma. I can tell by the taste. But it, it's being held back. It's, it's being held back by, by the fact that deep down behind all of the, the haze and behind all of the juiciness and, and, and the hops it still somehow tastes like a brew dog beer it, and I mentioned it in a previous review not a brew dog beer but, but by somebody else and that is and this is not me being critical this is just me being open and honest I can tell a shepherd neem beer a mile off I can tell a green king beer a mile off and and, and I can tell a pretty much tell a badger beer and a brains beer as well. Yeah, I brewed with brains, I brewed a very popular beer with brains, but I can tell their beer a million miles away. And somewhere along the line, it's happened with Brewdog. Somewhere along the line, there's a certain taste and I can't get my head around it. I can't, I can't, maybe it's the yeast strain. The, the maybe it's the house yeast. It generally is that you can't get away from the fact that, that it's a Brewdog beer. And when I, when I close my eyes, or if you put this in front of me as a blind taste test, I, I, I would more than likely say that, that, that yeah, it, it's a, it's a Brewdog beer. You can just tell, you can just tell. And I hope I'm not being too critical because I was very critical in my previous review uh, of the Pump Action something, Stone Fruits, IPA it looks like Robocop on the can I was very critical and maybe maybe after reading some of the comments maybe I was a little bit out of line a lot of people liked it but a lot of people no, no sorry a lot of people liked it and it was a few people that didn't like that review and maybe I was a little bit out of line maybe I was a bit too tough um, I'm trying to be first of all it's a very this is a very very good beer I'm gonna say it's a very, very good beer, but I met, and maybe this is where Brewdog wanna go, I met 
the owner of Chin Brewery in Norway last year and we had a conversation and you could tell how passionate he was about beer. James Watt is probably as passionate about beer as anybody else in the industry. Maybe what should happen is what happened with Chin Brewery. Let me tell you, let me tell you what's going on in 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 in, in, in Kin, in, in in Chin Brewery in, in, in Norway. They produce big like 750 bottles of, of, of IPA and stuff. They've got big open fermenters and it's it's a wonderful not being in myself, but it's a wonderful brewery. The beers are fantastic. So the head brewer the brewery grew and grew and grew, got big, massive, uh, and it, it's been sold probably all over Norway, and it's doing fantastically well. Their West Coast IPA is fantastic. Um, it grew to a size that, for him, it didn't feel like brewing anymore. It was just it just got it just got too big, and he loved. He was a home brewer. By, by by trade and he just loved fiddling around and playing around and 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 and, and brewing small batch beer so very cleverly what he did when his brewery carried on growing over there blossoming if you like blossoming because his beers are wonderful uh, so are brew dogs so are brew dogs beers they, i mean i raved about punk I'm, I'm still not happy about the way punk's changed but i'm not going to go there now i'm not going to go there now but I'm pretty sure this this could be what could be what Brewdog do. As the Chin Brewery grew and grew and expanded over there, the owner pulled back, put some people in charge, and he went over to the corner of his brewery and he pulled in a, a small plant. It may have even been the plant that the original plant that he was brewing on. Just a small little plant. And he, because of his huge passion for beer, started brewing small batch beer on his plant. Maybe that's the end. I know, I know, I'm not standing here trying to be the messiah of beer. I'm not standing here trying to be, because I'm not. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. It's just my own suggestion. Maybe James Watts and Martin Dickey, maybe, maybe with their passion for beer, um... If they got a little bit of room somewhere in the brewery, maybe put a small batch plant in. Maybe go, maybe go back to their roots of producing staggeringly, staggeringly good beer. Because that's that's what Brewdog really are about, or they should be about. If, if I'm not getting tangled up today on. I'm not going to get tangled up today on the whole where the brewery's head in and, and what I'm, I'm not going to do that because this is a good beer. I suppose what I'm trying to say is it's a very good beer, but it's not a great beer. It's not a great beer. It's very, very good, but it's not great. And Brewdog used to produce great beer. So maybe follow the Kim project. Let the brewery blossom over there. You go in another that leave it to somebody you can trust. Still be in charge, but just start producing your amazing small batch stuff again for the people who were there at the beginning. The people who were there at the very start, who supported you at the very, very start. Produce staggeringly good beer for them. Because let's be fair, the 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 big side over here, they may not want staggeringly good beer. They may want something hoppy that they can drink for a very good price. They may not have the money to drink staggeringly good beer. But there's people who love Brewdog and support Brewdog that want this staggeringly, staggeringly good beer. So go over there. Find that small cobwebby part of the brewery and start producing wonderful, wonderful, staggeringly good beer again. I'm going to rate this. Brewdog, Hazy Jane, New England IPA.
First of all, it looks wonderful. They really tried with this. They've really gone all out and tried. It looks wonderful. It's got good lace on the glass. It looks like a New England IPA. It's just got that slightly musty brew dog taste about it and it just it just pulls it back from being a great beer. But saying that, I'm still gonna give it I'm still gonna give it an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten. It's a very good mark for a for, the, for this New England IPA but it's not up to Stig Baguette's level it's not up to other half's level but I know somewhere in Brewdog you could do that go back to it please we beg you Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.